Ladies and gentlemen, want to use icons like me? Well, check out U7 Buy. Select the coins you need, type in JD for a cheeky 5% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we'll look at 5 star skills. 4 star weak foot, high low work rates, 5'11. Ronaldinho. Now, Ronaldinho for me is one of the best cards that you can get in this game. He's absolutely sensational. And when he first came out, he was about 7.7 .7 million coins. Now he's just shy of 6 million coins. Wow. He's so good in this game, it's incredible. Now, what I think the difference is between the Prime Dino and the Mid Dino is you're getting better finishing with the Prime. Hands down, you're getting more pace, better finishing. But I think Mid Dino is also a very, very good card. What I love about this card is he's not just a left winger. You can put him in left mid or you can put him in cam. And I think FIFA 23 brings that versatility before you get into the game and I think that's a really nice inclusion within FIFA yeah he was so good great pace very physical this is one thing I love about Ronaldinho he is so physical it is ridiculous like he is so strong unbelievable pace fantastic shooting he's got the finesse shot trait as well he's got the chip shot trait as well so these he's got that in his arsenal when it comes to shooting high low work rates which are fantastic he never tracks back but he can defend actually which is really weird he's just so physical he just absolutely bullies whoever's on the ball gets the ball back and just you know creates something he's got the fan he's got the perfect passing as well his dribbling and the way he exits skills is different. Like, Ronaldinho perfectly suits doing skills. Like, there's some players in this game who doesn't who don't suit doing skills. Like, it just doesn't look right. It looks very right when Ronaldinho is doing skills on the ball and is trying to get that ball out of the back of the net. I'd say I've never played this good in my life. When I, you know, when I was using Dino, I've never played this good before. I went six and one in qualifiers, and I'm not. I don't think I've done that this year. So it just shows you testimony of what a card is, what this type of card is. He is completely game changing. He's going to revolutionise your experience. And I think when you use players that you love, and I know how many people love Ronaldinho, he definitely has got that nostalgic memorabilia vibe about him you know you got you've got that connection to him and you just play better when you've got someone like that so when he's on the ball he, he only ever gives the ball away and then you know his attack positioning his finishing just everything about this card i love i i'd say the only downside to this card and there's only one was his stamina second half maybe past 70th minute i definitely felt like it was depleting and his finishing is very very good However, it's not like a Eusebio, Pele level. I wouldn't put him on, put him on that level of finishing because obviously I've used definitely used better finishes than Ronaldinho before. But when I look at a complete package, the finishing, the pace, the playmaking, the dribbling, the flair, the skills, the physicality, there's not many cards in the game that are like Ronaldinho, and I think. He is an incredible asset to your team. I'm more than happy to give him a 9.7 out of 10. This is 100% an S tier rated card. And a dream card that I think anybody would love to have in their team. What an outstanding play he was. They used him for about 14 matches. And every single one of their matches was a pleasure to play with. Thank you very much for watching. What a player. What a man. Daniel.